A 9 to 1 is a compound mechanical advantage system, meaning there's two simple mechanical advantages combined, and you multiply those two to create the result. So a 9 to 1 is two 3 to 1s combined together or multiplied to create a 9 to 1. So a 9 to 1 is a odd system, so you need to terminate the rope at the load. So we will go ahead and do that right now. The rope is terminated at the load. You also need a rope grab for the first 3 to 1, unless you can connect it directly to the anchor. You need a rope grab for the second 3 to 1 in the back end of the system. You will need your progress capture that goes on to a Prusik Mining progress capture pulley. And you will need at least four pulleys to act as your traveling pulley, your Prusik Mining change of direction, and your other change of direction in between the two three to one systems. Okay, so we've anchored our rope. We will connect our progress capture pulley with the Prusik Mining cable. We will go and bring it forward and hook in a traveling pulley. So now we've created a 3 to 1 mechanical advantage. So now all we need to do is run it through a change of direction. This is just a change of direction pulley, no mechanical advantage, just as this one is. Bring it forward, hook it into a traveling pulley, and create a rope grab onto this first three to one system that we built. So get your rope grab as far forward in the system as possible. Hook it in. And now you can see we have a three to one built onto another three to one. Okay? So there's our first three to one, there's our second three to one, and they multiply to create a nine to one. And you can tell that it's a 9 to 1 by using the T method by starting with one unit of tension on this strand, creates two units of tension, follows all the way through to create three units of tension onto this strand. So now three units of tension come in and out of this pulley, and that creates six units of tension at the end of this pulley. That three continues on through this strand. And three units of tension combine onto the six units of tension to create nine units of tension at the load. We can also tell if we pull nine feet to move the load one foot, that is uh, a nine to one as well. Now, as you can tell, this is a compound system because there's going to be pulleys moving at different rates. So this three to one, this traveling pulley is going to move a lot faster than that three to one. So to make it so that you can reset both of these three to ones at the same time, you can anchor this pulley back so that this system is three times longer than this system. So if this was 10 feet from anchor to load or rope grab, you can create this back end three to one 30 feet anchored back to another anchor that way so that way, these two traveling pulleys will chop a block with these ones, and you can reset them at the exact same time. So that is a nine to one mechanical advantage.